Hey, yo, it's me, Pops Fan Marmalade, and you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. Uh-huh. So come get some. Cromcon. Cromcon. Hi, this is Tim TK, host of That Several Line Show on Tuesday. Join us at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, every Tuesday night as we discuss pop culture and the joys of making comics. And I'm Scott Wakefield, host of Silver Lines Wednesday Wham, where we talk about comic books and all kinds of great storytelling, sometimes with incredible guests. And we want you to join us Wednesday nights from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you there. I'm Roland Mann, and I host Silver Lines Silver Sunday. Join me every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we make mine Silver Line. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday night. That means Silver Lines Wednesday Wham. It might be another time wherever you are on the planet or the universe, but you are welcome. I am joined by the venerable Rob Davis. I'm your host, Scott Wakefield. Hopefully, we have a few other venerable. Yeah, is that work? Venerable is a word, right? (laughs) Isn't that it? Yeah, well, isn't that isn't that short for old? (laughs) Well, okay, okay. I well, meant it as long for old. Old is short and venerable is a long word. What am I saying? It's, if you <laughs> want to read into what I'm saying, I'm, 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 I meant venerable. I'm happy to be here. My name is Scott Wakefield. I will not describe myself as venerable for a few more years. And we are talking dialogue tonight, so I'll be having a dialogue with Rob D. Start tonight. a little dialogue between us. Wednesday here. Wham. Um, as a writer, I like as I can't draw, so I can't really talk about that. I can talk about what I like. And uh, Rob has read books and seen movies, and I know that. And uh, he's uh, worked on a few comics, one or two. And uh, he's yep. seen some good and bad dialogue. So that is the conversation tonight. Good, bad, what makes great dialogue in books, movies, comics? I love dialogue. Um, I can't say that I'm any good at it. I like to use it, though. Perhaps I stink at it, <laughs> and uh, and it, it's just awful. Um, but I really like what dialogue can do as far as smashing a lot of stuff together in one place. But we don't need to roll right into the details. Um, I want to, to uh, self promote myself <laughs> to be redundant, um, folks out there on all of our social media locations. Uh, you should find the link to our upcoming Kickstarter campaign. It is two comics together and they worked out perfectly they're both issues number two uh the other being beyond the stars by ron fortier uh likewise venerable ron fortier with a my old pal (laughs) yes rob and uh ron do tons of work together and if you haven't read beyond the stars number one you got to grab it silverlinecomics.com uh across the top buy comics purchase comics something like that um or go to indie planet um, dot com and you can order Beyond the Stars number one by Ron Fortier and likewise Steam Patriots number two is coming out yes Rob did, did you have a, a I was just saying you can also there you can also if you go to that uh, the Kickstarter you can also buy back issues of all sorts of things yes I thought I thought I'd point that out as well yes. go to that Kickstarter support this book but you can also buy all this other stuff that's come out from Silverline I, I think you scroll down to the bottom and it lists all the stuff Add-ons. that can be added on. Yes. Like. yes. And, uh, and one of those is, is one of those is beyond the stars one. And another one is steam Patriots. Number one, which I have read and give a thank you. Enthusiastic thank you very much. Thank two you very thumbs much. up for, I've seen bits and pieces of number two and I can't wait to see. Very the whole exciting. Thing now. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So those, so the, 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 the idea is um, either go to kickstarter.com uh, and search uh, Silverline comics 
um, or you can uh, go to the Silverline socials. You can go to steampatriots.us and um, there's a link to get notified and you're not committing to anything. We just want you to click get notified yep. because April 11th, the launch will happen. You'll get an email to say uh, it's ready uh, back this campaign. And so um, especially those of you who have read number numbers one of, uh, of those comics, we really, really want you to keep the story going. And um, I don't know where Beyond the Stars picks up, but Steam Patriots number two picks right up where number one left off. As, as I understand it, it picks up right where I, there's a little jumping around in time mm. that Ron has done. But uh, he, I, I think it picks up right where it left off. So his his it, comic has all the all the trappings of a pretty epic space saga. It's it, good. It, it's big. It does. It yeah, big. yeah. He's done yeah. a great job. Um, well, so he's he's been right. He's he's venerable. He's been around he's, a while. He's been and he knows he, how he knows, he knows how this works. <laughs> And he writes great dialogue. Yes, he does. He, he does. just kind of segue into our story. Speaking here. of great dialogue, Ron Fortier writes some great dialogue. And uh, hopefully, um, I, I put a lot of thought into Steam Patriots with dialogue as well. And um, my co-author, Rory, he and I bounce the dialogue off each other. And I will point out, from a comic point of view, my letterer, Mr. Daniel Hosek, um, did a great job with, as, with an editor's mind in pacing. Pacing is very important with dialogue. Comic books have a nice, uh, comic books have a, a, a little advantage, I think, because you can chunk up dialogue even more than in a book. In a, in a book, a good author will leave no room for confusion about who's speaking, right. the pace. But sometimes you you can't, you can't, you, you can only do so much with, with, prose uh you know with um with a book you can't continually said sherlock holmes said and oh, what john h watson said and mary marston said you do that over and over it gets until finally you're going yep. uh, you know enough with that just just put the dialogue down yep yep <laughs> and i can figure out who's saying what a, a good writer can make can give each character a certain voice so when you read what they yep. what they're saying you understand it is them saying it they're phrasing or there's a there's a pacing to certain types of uh, uh of dialogue like that that it makes it easier to figure out in prose but in in comics you've got that right. little word balloon with the little tail on it sticking yep. down to tell you who's yeah. talking if if you're confused you've done something very wrong as a comic book creator if the, yeah. and and sometimes it does get confusing that that's the tough part of Putting it in the right order because I've read a comic too, even by the pros. And you, does it does it go this or is it straight down? I yeah, generally it's, it's a Z yeah. shape when you're reading comics, but sometimes it's a little off. And you read it, so the letter it, can help with that, help you lead you yeah. through the panels correctly. And if you've got a lot of di back and forth dialogue in a in one big panel, sometimes the balloons will you know. Yeah, the overall, yeah. There'll be one balloon and then then another balloon from the other character and then that but they've got to connect. They got to go person. through. Yep. Yeah. So sometimes that can be confusing. It's it's tricky. It's tricky. And it's an but, art. Uh, so yeah, Dan, yeah it, Dan, yes, Dan, it is. As a letter, people people always they overlook the letter, and a lot of times that's good. Meaning, if the words then get in the way. Then yeah. the letter has done a bad job. Yeah. The, the best has... letterers disappear; their work disappears. It just becomes part of the book. Yes. If, if you if you're noticing the letterer, he's not quite doing it right. It it should just kind of it should just become yep. part of everything. So, and, but that's tough. That's it, it tough really, to do, especially really is. especially if the artist hasn't left enough room for the balloons. Yeah, it does happen <laughs> quite often. That, that's something. That's something that. Um, that I, uh, as a as a newer writer, I don't. That's one of the things I think about as an afterthought, leaving uh, leaving room for the dialogue. I'm thankful that I've worked with good artists that really haven't run into problems. And Dan, along with feeling good pacing, he even he even broke up some of my dialogue and gave it to other yes. characters. Really good mm -hmm. job because he's another he's another person that's that's um, reading it and he's put dialogue maybe on the next page, giving that line another beat, an extra pace. I'm going to say hello to Mr. Rory Boyle. Hey, hello, gentlemen. Patriots, uh, sc school student yeah. working hard. 
Nose I to left the class early today for you, oh. and we had class at a brewery. So. <laughs> oh no! Oh man! Um, so I've been skip. I've been haven't been paying attention to our comments over here. I'm bad. I, mm. I know Vic's out there. Uh, he says, "Yeah, skeleton crew yeah. tonight. We got we're, we got it. Thanks." But uh, right. and then it's going to be speak, like that. Yeah. Speaking of uh, mm. our Kickstarter, yeah, grab back issues. Yes, all of our Kickstarter yep. so far. Well, thus far. Um, it's been gotten really good. You, you you do your your where you're gonna back your level, what you want, the basics, and then as you go down, you can you'll add on add ons, and uh, you can yeah. buy every yeah. issue uh, that Silverline has made. Yep. And I recommend original buying 10 art of them. that's available for yep. each Kickstarter. There's, it makes there's it so easy if you need, back, it, it, especially with it, shipping. It, it, yeah, it, the hardest part is coming up with the money to pay for it all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yep. Uh, Vic, awesome. You've been a huge supporter. Uh, yep, your January yes, Kickstarter Vic, has you. arrived. Um, I know folks have been Lovely. posting and tagging Silverline on their posts. And uh, yeah, Vic, so Rory, you missed it. I described uh, Rob. <laughs> Rob took I umbrage am. to my <laughs> description of him being venerable. Oh. <laughs> Vic, Vic, yes, we know. Uh, we do. You are a young. As in relation to Dolores? Venerable. <laughs> the Boris Umbridge isn't she the yes that's good that's good oh. Harry Potter reference there and then um, so confusing dialogue I would like Vic um, go ahead and elaborate um, expose Again. on that yeah <laughs> what? expose on exposition? that yeah. exposition expose on that? Give, us, uh, give us your your thoughts Rory um, we're talking we, we rolled right mm. into comic book dialogue and okay. uh, I mentioned how you and I we, we would read ours out loud and yep. um, you you usually read my dialogue and be like that, that, who? Why is he? That what, doesn't. What? <laughs> I'm like, it makes perfect sense to me. Uh, so <laughs> you'd read it, um, but then when Dan uh, did our <clears throat> Dan, our letterer and editor, did a pass through, he he improved it even more. He was able to trim yes, a little. He's good. He's, he's good. really good. He he had the editor's mind uh, when doing the dialogue, because he helped with the pacing. We we would. You know, not until you see it. It helps. It helps when you see it in a comic book. You yes. want chunk, 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 and well, you can... it's the visual flow with it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And we compared yep. it to prose, which prose, prose can I was, be. I was gonna say that. Yeah, prose has its <laughs> limits. Now, in a good author, yep. uh, and and Rob, you were starting to say too, um, having the said, 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 said is not dead. I I know. It, I think it was a it was a thing of the nineties. I mean, too. it's it, it's good it, to use at the beginning yeah. of of, a, yes. of of dialogue back and forth. But using it every single time uh, right. becomes very tiring. Yes, it gets, it's best yes. not to then, do that. Yeah. It's just and, and like yeah. I was saying earlier, if if you if some writers are very very good about giving each character their own voice, yeah. so when mm. you read what they say, Cormac you know McCarthy. it's them speaking because I, they have a certain like I was saying they have certain pacing to their to how yeah. they they talk, yep. or some people right. speak more poetically than others, so. You know, there's some all that more eloquent on. than others. Yeah, <laughs> some, some, yes. Some. Uh, speaking of eloquent, you Rory read my mind. Um, now, getting <laughs> rid of dialogue ta tags. Talk about an author that got rid of quotation marks and dialogue yeah. tags. Completely Sad is you were going to say author of one of the greatest books ever and one of the worst books ever, <laughs> yes. The Road. Yes. and No Country for Old Men. I could not read No Country for Old Men. I love no, The I Road. Couldn't. That is yeah. written by you, Cormac McCarthy. Cormac McCarthy. Rob, if you ever read his books. His dot so the road, so good. I'll buy it on for my you. reading list, but I haven't been reading uh, you, outside the genre for quite a while. It's a quick. Time, it's so. a quick read. The road is quick. Um, it's tough. It's a dad and a son in a post-apocalyptic world, and it's bleak. Yeah. And if it's you've gray. got kids, I, I want oh, bleak. Man, I read it, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it, it, oh yeah. It, the, <laughs> the road. The road is. But what Cormac McCarthy does, I think sometimes to his detriment, which is why I can't read yeah, the country yeah. full men. But I guess if you're a Pulitzer Prize winner, you can do whatever you want. In the road, there's just two characters. And so it's the dad and his son. And a lot of times they'll be like, you okay? Uh-huh. Really? Yep. Just lie, one What's line wrong? for Nothing. each one and of those. It's great. It's, it, it's, a it's how a dad and a son would be talking, like sitting around a fire. Right. You doing okay? Yep. Really? Uh-huh. So what's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> but sometimes it goes, like, I'll forget who's talking. I have to go back to the top and be like, okay, it's dad, yeah. son, dad, son, yeah. dad, son. But he does it really well because it fits the conversation. Um, the other guy, and, you know, and I haven't read a lot. I know it's sacrilege. I, I haven't read a lot of Hemingway. I've read. <gasps> yeah, I've read zero yeah. Hemingway. Okay. You got to be drinking when you read that. <laughs> I've read chunks of Hemingway, and he does that as well. Very to the point dialogue, and he Her, uses his dialogue. It's very, very sparse, very sparkling. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 get away with it. Yeah. With, 
minimal characters. Which is, oh yeah, yeah it gets tough when you've got a lot of characters because you do have to say who's talking. It's yeah. uh, at, that's tough. He, but he's what I like. The example I like to go to for using the dialogue to tell the story. Um, we got a comment. Mm -hmm. We got uh, American Comics Company. Hey, yeah. with Chad. Good, good good evening. Uh, <laughs> the American Comics Company. Uh, I guess so. I guess so. I gotta I gotta look you guys look you guys up. Uh, tell us about yourselves, Vic. Yeah, um, I barely know who Hemingway is. Look up Hemingway. Come on, man. Come <laughs> That's on. Okay. You don't, yeah. Well, you're not far enough in school yet. The, You'll get to it. The, <laughs> I, I I do love the classics. I love, but you know, take them and leave them sometimes because. Do you don't like great expectations? <laughs> I I don't like. Uh, uh, um, Scarlet Letter, Dickinson? House of the Seven no. Gables, um, Nathaniel Hawthorne. Withering Heights. Nathaniel Hawthorne. No. Hawthorne, no. Well, but no. That's, it's the language that he uses. Exactly. It's it was, a romantic. It was fine, it was it was fine at the time, but yeah. it's not. It's very hard to wade through it's, now. It is. And then, uh, same the, thing with, uh, I find with Tolkien. Yeah, know, oh, Reading yeah. Lord of the Rings is the, very uh, classical in that respect. Yeah. And so you have to you have to get in that mindset and that it, it, I, to the modern mind it does, yeah. doesn't it doesn't read quickly you have to you have to really read slowly to comprehend I and that's a lot yeah of it's, I, I felt like i was slogging yeah. through but it but it <laughs> I was, jump it, was over it was worth the trip but i was slogging the whole way yeah um yeah um and yeah, I'll let you go on. <laughs> yeah. You were on, you were on yeah, a yeah, ramble, and I yeah. interrupted. I that's okay. So. No, that, that's that's what we do. He's uh, a good one. <laughs> um, so so Hemingway uses dialogue to uh, to tell a lot of the story, and uh, um, and you could oh. yeah, people can smash up how it it's, is it showing, is it telling, is dialogue an action? You know, it depends on your definitions. I really just I like dialogue to fill in what a lot of of, of prose and narrative can do. If and you can be go, concise about it. Let, yeah. yeah. Let me, it's let me go through. Especially in comics, it needs to be very concise. Right. You don't want to overwhelm any panel with a lot of words. Right. I, I mean, that's because it's a visual medium. I've used this short story before uh, as an example. Oh. Um, it's a, it's a Hemingway story, the short happy life of Francis Macomber or Macomber. And he, there's, it's a hunt. Uh, um, by, by by somebody, um, and there's one line. Francis McComber lay, lay now face down, not two yards from where the buffalo lay on his side. And his white ne wife knelt over him, with Wilson, uh, another hunter, beside her. And Wilson says, "I wouldn't turn him over." So, with that one line, with that one line of dialogue, we know it's disgusting. We know it's. I wouldn't he, he turn have, him over. Right. Yeah. You don't have Which to say it's there. It's a natural lay... thing to say, but it does say a lot. It's like, what's in the I box? I wouldn't turn him <laughs> over. With five words, yep. you've told a little story there. Yep. The yep. We, you don't need to, yeah, he doesn't need to describe the blood, the gore, the yuck. Um, and uh, I love that. I, I, that's something I strive as a writer to be to be good at. To, can, I, can I find either that one short descriptor? Or yeah. can dialogue do it? And a lot of times, dialogue can. Um, but that, that's a balancing act too. With, do you want the reader's imagination to fill in the gaps, or do you want them to? Do you want to convey something very specific to them? Like this scene needs to look like this. Yeah. Uh, are you saying, and you can do that with dialogue? Right. Yeah. How much? So yeah. How much is too much? Oh, versus yeah. like, oh. and here's a general idea. You can picture what you want. Versus, I want you to see this room exactly how yeah. I'm seeing it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that... And 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 I imagine the the most difficult problem that you you and Roy are having, having not worked in comics not prior to this, it. is how to figure out how to how to tell the artist what's the the picture mm -hmm. that's in your yeah. head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's you, we... I, I mean that's that's kind of off this particular subject, but it isn't no, because yeah. you know, the dialogue will work yep. better if the scene is set properly. Right, if right. the artist has set the scene properly, it it makes it emphasizes the dialogue rather than detracts from it. So I think I, we have I, a shared I, concept I, of how we do that. We we when we storyboard the sound of brains, it's like we're watching a movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah which it, is scene I, by scene, you're jumping around. Mm -hmm. So if you have like a flowing scene, pick out the frames that have the most to it. 
And we've probably yes. seen enough MST3K enough to figure out what's good and what's bad. What's going to get picked, <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. What's gonna yeah. get picked apart, what's terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and, I, and it's, yeah. I and like it's, to throw the dialogue in, Rob. Yeah. Cause, cause, not all of it. I, I will usually, because if, if I need a, if we need a facial expression, you know, we don't want someone looking somber mm-hmm. when he's angry. Um, so, exactly. Yeah. I, I will throw in, um, you know, Felix looking, you know, Felix angry and he's saying well what what the heck's wrong with you ben or something like you know i don't know um that was my lunch yeah so it's uh <laughs> um don't touch that uh and it could and it could change how it sounds yeah. that was my lunch right <laughs> yeah yeah that was my lunch. lunch yep yeah, yeah. yeah. And it on the wrong syllable yep oh and yeah. Yeah. In the fa- yeah. the facial expression yeah um, we have we have had a few instances where the art has come back and it's not quite, but we've had we can you know it's it's, it's you just then you change it a little, little and, you, you, and there's a lot of times yeah the, the dialogue you just you just change Sometimes one little it, line and okay mm-hmm. it's it's fine we we have we've have had a few that like well, that has to be fixed and a couple of times it's like okay um, yeah. we can give that line to somebody else um, Vic Vic saying uh, and he says some not a lot of black and white explosion books forget that dialogue is part of comics hmm. but black is that a by an explosion book do you mean is that like a pop-up i well explosion book i think he's talking about the 1980s explosion of god of, of black and white comics oh and he's I actually I'm talking sorry. historically yeah. Okay. Yeah. hey for a young guy he's got a handle on he, if that's what he's yeah. talking about yeah now, exactly. i think that's more than we do the um, teenage mutant ninja turtles yeah. era uh, yeah. when the black and white comic books went boom and yeah. they were everywhere. So, yep. which is 80s, when I there broke we go. in. Thank you. Yep. Black and 80s. white. Okay. okay. Black and white explosion. Okay, I understood okay. you, Vic. That's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's language. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic. Um, <clears throat> some other, some of the great dialogue. I, I really like when dialogue can, can set a scene and give us character as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you'll, if you'll permit me here, it's Roy's probably going to, Roy knows another, um, see if I can find it. Another one of my favorite movies. Oh, oh, wait. Rory, you were saying one of you was saying both of you too much dialogue. Um, Quentin Tarantino sit around and talk movies. Yeah, I can't do it. Seeing someone who loves dialogue, there yeah. there are, there are times where dialogue is great and a, and a conversation can be great. I love mm-hmm. the James Bond and um, oh my gosh, the uh, uh, Casino Royale on the train. Um, they're yes. talking. It's a yeah, great Vesper. scene in an act. Vesper. It's act- almost Vesper. word for word from the Thank book you. as well. Yep. That's beautiful. That's a yep. great. It's you, a great. You, and it's you an action. Lot, movie. You, yep. you understand yep. both those yeah. characters when that dialogue is done. It's got the beat. You understand them both. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now, you take that though and you multiply times a billion and you got Quentin Tarantino sometimes. And, and I. Sometimes it's great. Yeah. But a lot of times you're just like, just, just get mm. on with it. And We're I spending get, too long in one scene. Yep, yep. And they can, they talk and they say, okay, they say mundane things. Now, this is another balance because I really love, and this is one of my go-tos for dialogue, the movie and the play by David Mamet, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. That is a movie. <laughs> Rob, if you've never seen it, you... No, uh, oh, it's worth it. It's, a, it's, it's, it's a, it, nothing happens. Uh, it's one of... Nothing happens. It's, it's salesmen in what, like four... It's like four different scenes, so maybe five. It's, so it's like waiting for Godot. Well, uh, I haven't seen that. I've heard I know, I know nothing happens in yeah, waiting for happened. Godot either. Um, so this, but this has got, like got Jack Lemon, Al Pacino, um, Alan Arkin, um, oh, the uh, bad guy from the Ed Rock. Harris. Ed Harris. Um, well, you had it, me at you had me at Jack Lemon. Jack, Jack Lemon. Lemon. Jack oh, Lemon. Lemon's he's great. The, he's the. Oh my! Uh, you when when he stopped making films oh. and. and Passed yeah. away, we lost a giant. Yeah, because yeah. he's he a grumpy old man. Yeah. Oh so, so man, great. what a yeah. what a great he's, actor. He's a sad sack yeah. salesman in this movie, and it opens. That's per- he's, he's perfect. It's yeah. so yeah. good. So it opens. It's raining, and I got the script here in front of me. Um, and he's at a the, the the script, of course, gets changed for the movie a little bit. But in the movie, they're opening. He's at a payphone, and it, the the music playing, and the rain is going. And it comes in, it comes in tight on him, and he's at the payphone. And he puts it, and he says. Hello, honey. How you doing? Pause. Good. What did he say? Is he there now? When did he leave? Uh huh. Yes. I- I'm stopping here. I've got a little meeting. Then I'll. Oh, what if I could? 
as soon as I can. Let me get off. And I promise, I promise you, it's going to be all right. And it opens, you know, he has a problem. He's yeah. talking to somebody. It's a perfect somebody. one-sided conversation. It, yep. that, that it's, somebody it's, calls honey. Honey. Yep. Mm -hmm. Somebody and he's on the phone and they're they're talking. You don't hear what they say though. And he's just uh -huh. is it, you don't is have it technically to. a soliloquy soliloquy. I don't I don't know. It's a it, it's a dialogue, but you but, but you the don't other know. person's yeah. so quiet you can't hear that person. <laughs> um yeah, yeah I, that's that's good writing. It's yes. really great writing. Now, some people my wife hates that movie <laughs> she hates really? it. it's i think it's so great i have watched that movie dozens of times because i love the pacing i love the lines uh she can't stand it and i get it i get it just i'm sure people are can't stand that i don't like quentin tarantino <laughs> and it, it How it's dare you? yeah <laughs> um we got uh yeah we got some let's see vic saying cat and mouse dark wolf panacon yada 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 um oh, good dialogue stuff, yeah or, and then black, black and white. Black oh yeah, and black white. and white. Yep. And uh, Neil Gaiman, Gaiman dialogue. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. He's, yes. Oh, oh yeah. Hey. An incredible dialogist is uh, Neil Gaiman. Yes. Uh, we got uh, you... Vic asking because Jose's here too. How's all oh, right. going? And he's saying hard work bringing some greatness. Vic, hey Jose, you out there? All Your right. We love you, Jose. And uh, can't wait. Oh, okay. This is another great book. This is Rory bought me. Uh, this is John Baird and um, Kevin, Kevin Costner. Costner. Turn, turn it sideways so we can see it's a uh, heft. Yeah, it's a tome. Oh, my. Now open it and to show us that it is a mix of a narrative prose and. Oh, and, yeah. And comic. It's a fantastic. And there is some thick dialogue like there's yeah. some, a lot of words and it but it does it really, really well. It's a great story i would recommend if you're if you are um a fan huh. of a victorian style yeah, high adventure uh, adventure explorers um yeah. pith helmets and um right. uh and machine guns and, and airplanes and, yeah it's a great now this great says book. volume one i never looked up if there was volume two so yeah, is it like yeah <laughs> history of the world <laughs> history of the world part one yeah mm. i don't know if part two has ever ever happened they're, they're making it it's it's a fantastic book. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, one of those books, though, it, I mean, just like any book with lots of characters, if you set it down for a week or two and you get back in, you forget, wait, yeah. who, who is this yeah, guy? Because there's so many. Really, mm -hmm. really great book. Um, so we talked dialogue in uh, a little bit in comics. Hemingway, short and to the point. Uh, Quentin Tarantino, long and never to the point. Um, <laughs> Corm Cormac but it makes more interesting, but, it, but it's great dialogue. Cormac yeah, it is. It is not bad dialogue. It sometimes I think it needs to pick up the pace. Or so some of the rules of dialogue, which as writers, as creators, right? Um, we always tell people uh, they're new. Vic, if you're out there, uh, learn the rules before you can break the rules. Because Cormac McCarthy breaks the rules and he gets people surprises for it. And you know, if he was if he submitted his manuscript to his English teacher in uh, English 101. He'd get a slap on the wrist. No, you have to have quotation marks. You have to have commas. I don't see a semicolon anywhere in this manuscript. And uh, he he can throw the rules out because he, he does it really well because he's learned the basics so there's no confusion. Which, the way he describes it, is he says it makes him even better at dialogue because he doesn't rely on the dialogue tags of said so-and-so because he needs really good clarity if he's going to remove what he, I don't mean, he doesn't call it a crutch yeah. but what might be a crutch said now thoughts on my wife was reading Harry Potter out loud to the kids while we were in the car and I really noticed it when when she was reading it out loud that JK Rowling would say said so and so jerkily shakily hungrily angrily mm. mistakenly sure. well it's for kids and a lot of it is for kids. a lot it's of descriptors yeah yeah and I, yeah. Like, yeah after a while i was like did you just say said ron jerkily <laughs> is, that, is that a word like, as in okay. a being a jerk or being as a jerk, in... not <laughs> <laughs> no like being a jerk and i Fine, if you're a billionaire, that, that works. That um, works when reading it, but it doesn't work when reading it out loud. Right. Yes, yeah, that's um, why. I even notice, what you do, what you need to do when you read those kinds of stories out loud, is and you and like when you're reading music and playing it, yeah. 
you're always reading a couple of lines ahead. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So when you're reading it out loud, you're kind of reading a, a, you're, 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 you're kind like of reading a, a little bit ahead. So you're going, okay, well, he said it a certain way. So I will say the word, say that Emphasis. phrase that way yeah. and then leave out the descriptor when you're reading it out loud. Mm -hmm. That's, That's the best thing to do. Cause if, if you're reading every, he replied shakily, yeah. you know, I, I, you just say, yeah, yeah he, he replied. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm doing a book study know. at school and I do that. I'm like, I'm eyeing two or three words ahead and I will leave it out yeah. just to make uh -huh. it shorter for one thing. But yeah, know. that's, yeah. that's part of speed reading. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Um, yeah, Vic's saying 90% of Valiant books have that heavy handed talking down to, to the reader dialogue. To the, yeah, dialogue the yeah. Have handed down, yeah. Narration um, I, wise. I don't yeah, I don't mind dialogue. I like comics with with some extra words because I feel like I'm getting a little more for my money. Not always. <laughs> now that's another we'll talk about that if um um we're we're filling our time here, uh, about leaving no dialogue because that's that's an option as well. Okay, we uh, Mark asks, what's the book title? Um, which one, Mark, if you could clarify, um, cause I missed when you asked that, which, I apologize. Which book title are we talking about yeah. the ones for the Kickstarters or are we yeah. talking about the book that Rory held up? Oh, that might be it. Explorers Guild, um, yes. with yeah. Kevin Costner, um, John Baird, John Baird, uh, the Explorers Guild, really good one. And then and there I is no I'm volume getting, two. So uh, my Wi-Fi is my kind of, yep, that is exact. That is exactly what he sounds like, Vic. Thank you. <laughs> uh, reading in the car. Vic could narrate you. <laughs> yeah. My wife has a skill to read out loud, and she <laughs> and she even does it like turn sideways. I don't know how she does that because like That's, even sitting yeah. sideways in the car. Uh, speaking Oy. of great dialogue. Speaking of uh, sitting sideways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're having we're no. having a great dialogue tonight with Brent Larson. I'm Scott Wakefield filling in for. Uh, so now uh, Pops says, Welcome hey, to the he's Actress like, Guild. hey, well, it's okay, Pops. And, uh, <laughs> yep, yep. So Brent, if yep. you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? If you had to talk to, uh, Brent, um, Brent, you've got some good dialogue. You've written a, a few comics, uh, and we yeah. know you, you come Brent from a, screenplays. a screenwriting background. Um, you talk good. Quick, quick, off the top yeah. of your head, some, some rules for dialogue that um, you adhere to and then summarily break because we know you're a rule breaker. You got anything, any any wisdom real quick or do you want to ease into this mm, conversation? That's a good shirt too. Uh, thank you, yes. <laughs> but that's, that's good, that's good. <laughs> no arms off. Um, <laughs> rules for dialogue writing. Um, you know, I would say um, it's a lot like rules that I try to follow, follow for any writing I'm doing, which is don't worry about it. Not at first. <laughs> Just get it out. Just put People, it on the page. Yeah. As a, I like that. I a lot of writers, and I do it myself. And one thing we are so keen on is trying to do it right the first time. First time, yeah. yeah. That, I fall into that. You will fail. Instead, yep. just get it out there. And if your dialogue is horrible, then say that's horrible dialogue. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You know then, what Scott taught me? <clears throat> Write drunk, get it sober. What? <laughs> <laughs> Write drunk, get it sober. Write drunk. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a Hemingway. Oh, is that Hemingway? Okay. Oh, you yeah. stole that? that okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, Hemingway stole it from Scott. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hemingway! Uh, yeah, as, as I'm Hemingway. shouting out my window. <laughs> yeah, that works. Hemingway! <laughs> Into the Key West night. Ernest! <laughs> yep. um, Six Toe Cats from doing Ryan. comics art as well. You you don't just jump onto the... Uh, unless you're Jack Kirby. Yeah, you just don't do, just yeah. jump to the page and start at the upper left and work your way down. You do <laughs> thumbnails to figure out how you're going to put the page together. You don't just start right in. So you've got... And I, I will get to the I will get to that pay, that thumbnail. I've done I do a whole book before I start it, and I'll get to the to a certain page, and I'll go, you know what I've got there doesn't work as well as what's in my head now, mm -hmm. so I'll change it. So, but but you're not, yeah. Don't get don't get uh, you know closed in by what you've already done. Uh, mm -hmm. just, yeah, you're right. Just regurgitate it onto yeah. the page. And then clean away the crap later. Yeah, don't so, be afraid yeah. to break what you've already put down. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's, it, hard. Don't, that's hard. It, what is it? Somebody said, uh, don't be afraid to kill your darlings. Oh, yeah. That's, Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's, that's, probably, well that's, a, that's a later down the down the line when you're really refining. Is that Mary Shelley? Or, 
what's that? Uh, was that Mary Shelley? I don't, I don't remember who said yeah. it. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's somebody. Didn't I, you guys date? I, uh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, she's venerable too. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is going to be the theme tonight. Venerable. Okay. <laughs> well, I'd also Scott, say, hey, Brent, when you come to this dialogue. late, the first one of the first things he he said was the venerable Rob Davis is here, and I took. I took umbrage with it. So. <laughs> I love that word. Um, it, um, it is um, a, it's a great word, but I said, "What you, is that? Just is that just short for old?" And oh. then I corrected myself. Mm, I said, "No, no venerable is no. a long word. Old is a short <laughs> word." Yeah. <laughs> when I'm writing dialogue, um, uh, when I get to that stage, it's great to read it out loud. Yes. Um, yes. In their voices, yes. Or even to get someone else to read yep. it, um, and that is even better. So. Because yeah, readers are it's great. humbling, yeah, number one. Oh yeah, you've you've read it. Yeah, I mean, it's been in your brain. You put it down there, and that's I said. Uh, Rory will reread something, or I'll read what he's written, written and and uh, my, my wife is a great editor. She'll be like, eh, I, yeah. I think I, I think I know what you're trying she'll, to say, but she'll be like, don't it, you guys want to pick a different career? <laughs> you, you sure you want to yeah. do this? I mean. <laughs> I love yeah. I saw and... there, there's a truck driving school. There. <laughs> <laughs> the the CDL is cheap now. I, 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 <laughs> community drove, college. I drove school. I drove a yeah. bus for 20 years, folks. Yeah, so I Rob, pick, I know. The pension, I, so I can do whatever the hell I want now. Yeah. So, yeah. Fine, you not a not a bad plan. Um, we got some comments <laughs> over here. Uh, American Comics is saying, "Hey, pops, always great to see, you, man." Mm. Hi, pops. Yes, it, it is great to see pops. And uh, let's see, Jose, I'm clicking. I'm a huge fan of noir crime movies and books. Ooh, yeah. So a lot of narration. Inner character monologues are great. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, it, it fits. It fits. And that's I, fun. I, yeah, that is fun. I, I like the insight in the mind of the character. There is something that, I, when did it go away? When did it, when was it not in yeah. vogue to get rid of a narrator or the inner monologue mm -hmm. or, um, yeah, thought balloons? Those, those have pretty much disappeared yeah. in the comic book. They world. have. They've been replaced by captions, which is just the thought balloon without the bubbles going. And, to it. and right. uh, the, the captions uh, and some of the captions have, have gone away. Mm -hmm. Captions I, have been re that word balloons have, have essentially replaced captions. Yeah. They just become the captions right. instead of, you know, you yeah. used to have. Meanwhile, in right. Gotham City, which you know, I wonder, which, I wonder why was it? Did it just become? I think I know. Okay, go for it. Ooh, please. Yeah. Really cool thing. I frankly love captions. And frankly, I love narration. And narration is kind of frowned upon in movies and <clears throat> TV yeah. and all that. And that's the reason. And it's because you've got the motion picture. I mean, they should be able to tell you visually what right. is much better than someone just talking. Yeah. But that's why, frankly, I mean, I love comics. I've read comics all yeah. my life. And frankly, comics are almost like the last bastion of the narrator. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. you, um, I mean, the best comic writers out there <laughs> use it. Um, and it, it really covers <coughs> some great exposition. But you can do it in a way that's really stylish yeah. and really stylized. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the reason why the uh, thought balloons have segued into captions is because Thought balloons always gave a sense of immediacy. So, like Spider Man is swinging through the city, going, yeah. "Holy cow! The Green Goblin really almost killed me the other yeah. day, and I feel so weird about it." And you're thinking, Spidey, why are you thinking are you thinking that? that? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. no. It's almost like he's like, an internal processor. He takes yeah. days. He's phlegmatic. Yeah. Well, that'll get you. <laughs> kind of part of the way but that's the cool thing about the caption is the you caption is actually saying this isn't yeah. what he's thinking this is who he is yeah that's one of yeah. the coolest things about a caption is yeah, it makes that makes good sense construction yeah hmm. uh comments over here uh yeah vic says he's abandoned many a thumbnail for more cinematic pose yeah uh, yeah um, but do you keep you it to. do you keep the old one just for reference or to use later I feel like you should never get rid of anything. Just put it somewhere else and reuse it later. Mm, sometimes what you can what you make is total with, horse plop. Dialogue and... dialogue works that way. I don't know that uh, that art necessarily does a certain pose, perhaps, but not not a whole panel. Uh, it's like movies yeah, where you're using B roll. You can totally like there's the um, 
the Disney side by sides of like three Disney movies, and it's different characters, but it's all the same dance. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. frame oh, yeah. by frame. They just change. Yeah, they have the yeah. the uh, the in betweeners who have they have that whole sequence. Yep, and right. they just throw it on a light box and, and trace it off and redo it. Yeah. Why you know why reinvent the wheel? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, there right. are times when when uh, when especially if if there's a definitely if there's a recap, uh, why oh, yeah. re, you know why. Why redraw it? Just, you know, mm. cut and paste in Photoshop. Maybe I would or, throw in like you know, one panel of a different angle just to switch it up. Yes, yeah, but, but for the it. most part, you repeat stuff, and you can change the size of it, or you know, eliminate right. some background Ooh, items that would be good. or whatever. If you're recapping yeah. from the original that had like a square panel and make it a wide panel to give you a, the wide screen view, mm -hmm. a little extra context, that'd be good. Too. Sure, yeah, that's a good. I'll have to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're good. welcome. I like that. that. I like that. Two percent. Two percent. Relatively, the... relatively modern movie, Brent. Though, uh, actually, relatively twenty years old now. Uh, opens with relative view. Long narration uh, about some sort of some ring being made, uh, forged by some old guy, some yeah. venerable um, uh, <laughs> character. Uh, well, long narration. Full of umbrage. Yes. And also, you know, like Shawshank, yeah. really, right. Shawshank Redemption really used some great narration too. So there's, yeah, everything yeah. isn't dead. It yeah. is just but that was a short story. Yeah, I mean, the best right thing about movie. really good narration in a movie almost proves the exception to the rule, um, just because. Uh, or what am I trying to say? What's how's that? Yeah. How's well, if Morgan Freeman narrates okay. anything, it's proves the rule. Fine. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was about to <laughs> say. You've movie. got somebody with, yeah. the, with the voice John Reese Davies and the and the abilities <laughs> yeah. of, of Morgan Freeman. Well, why are you wasting him on and just dialogue? Give right. him some narration. That um, man, it, it, the voice of God. Yeah. <laughs> you know, really. Vic, Vic has some stupid dialogue because he watches Kung Fu. <clears throat> yeah, Vic, no. I would say embrace and, it. If you, and you know embrace, what? It. embrace it. Yeah, and exactly. <laughs> Sometimes that's that's more fun. Yeah, yeah uh, Jose you know? Lamar, the narrator, and the, the stupid Kung Fu dialogue. I love it. Now, I've I've been reading. Well, we talked um, about pacing and, and style. The um, the Master and Commander books, which are not called that. The Aubrey Master. Those were in the seventies, but they're yeah. very Victorian. Sometimes they are pretty clunky. But he wrote them in that way. I like the manner of speaking their dialogue mm -hmm. because it is it is early mm -hmm. 1800s and it fits what Rory and I are trying to write. I when mm -hmm. I have Benjamin Franklin speaking, I don't want him to sound anachronistic. I also don't want it super clunky, um, <laughs> like he's writing a formal letter to Congress. But I want I want the style and the tone. Uh, yeah, that words that era they spoke. Um, they spoke more formally and wrote and definitely yeah. wrote formally uh, but they were know, very like clear yep yeah yeah, yeah the, the words I mean, the, it made sense yeah yeah like another and, and that you know when you're thinking narration in, in movies too if you can if you can peg it to a certain era like if you think about uh, True Grit the Coen Brothers remake mm -hmm. everyone in that movie had such a clear very unique way of speaking that you wanted to hear narration because it was yeah. so fun to listen to. It, that's a really good movie. Yeah. I, I like that one way better than the yeah. old one. I know it's yeah. sacri sacrilegious to say that, but uh, I, it, I, and you can say the same I, thing about I, Harry Potter because Stephen Fry did different voices for every character and it was amazing. Yeah. Oh, in the books? The uh, audiobooks? The yeah. audiobooks? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, mm. they're worth listening to. Uh, we got. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, uh, Vic says other than comics, his influence is giving him poor dialogue. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Find some good dialogue. You'll talk gooder. Find a tone. Find a find. If you got a character that has a has a a, a way of speaking. Now, if we're talking prose and, gonna, and a lot you know, of times, do it. Eh, don't get stuck do on um, giving some everybody a weird way of talking. That gets clunky. You know, giving them apostrophes <clears throat> and giving them a weird. Sometimes yeah. it gets clunky. You know, don't give, go I talk want, to me. Oh. Don't yeah, go cocky because no, you can't read no, it. You can't no. or southern. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Give yeah. them their give them their tone through how and what they say. You don't have to yeah, mess with. Yes. You can take off a d off an and. You know and you know and give them a little mm. bit of that. But sometimes it's so hard. And it, there was there was it, an error. Maybe a little hesitation. You know. On, yeah. A, 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 an M dash. <clears throat> yeah. Or yeah. They when they pause or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. American comics is saying yeah a lot of narration has to do with runtimes. Yeah. Three hour films. 
um yeah. yeah you can get redundant stuff that's great redundant dialogue too uh vic saying somebody's cheeky i don't do, uh one of us um and then trying to write less uh i would i would never stop writing vic um you may not use 99 percent of what you write um but it will let the editor moves. sort that out um but yeah work on your art too because i know you're you're that's that's one of your goals and uh to get paid too and uh r.a jones he's saying yeah several lines are read with some readable dialogue yeah the r.a yeah, yeah he's good. Uh, he yeah. knows what he's doing knows what he's doing yeah, he just really like does. ron Forty. That, that comes with experience too. uh practice yeah. with writing and listening listening if you have a listening mind when i when i went to school to write um a lot of our assignments were actually watching movies which was awesome <laughs> but, but reading with an analytical maybe mind, i'll like stay I, in college yeah yeah i you know if i could i if i could get paid to to continue to learn i love learning but um paying that's not a attention, phd yeah i know being a professional student um that's why the opening of glenn gary glenn ross i love <laughs> that's why i love it because that scene sets the tone for for uh for um jack lemon's uh character um Shelly Levine, the machine, he's, you, you know it from the start. And I know that without the analytical mind, we can watch it just for fun. I know that, that people, you can just enjoy it, but I can do both. And, and listening. So his character has his tone. The Alan Arkin character has his tone. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and they're all, they're all there. They're all distinct. And just any good movie and it's, it's almost going... jarring sometimes because some speak very slowly. Yep. And then and you boom, speak boom, very boom, fast boom. Yep. all the time. That yep. is their character. Yep. And it's that's fantastic. hard. That's hard to convey in, in text. Mm. It, 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 so, but um, uh, Rob was starting to say uh, an M dash or an ellipsis. The ellipsis is a great. I love option. the ellipsis. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love the M dash too because sometimes I do not know what my punctuation yeah. is going to be. In, or most in, the hyphen, the yeah. hyphen of the M dash. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what to do. Uh, let's do a dash. But the ellipsis, <laughs> if, if you're doing well, just like in art where you can have things, the visual art, you can have things in the gutter between mm -hmm. the panels, unseen but said, but, but there, in dialogue, the ellipsis can leave a lot out that says a lot. You can... Oh, so yeah. I saw your sister today. Uh, yeah, but an ellipsis <laughs> and an what, what does that mean? Are, are used at different, in different ways. And in, uh, the ellipsis should be like at the end of a sentence mm -hmm. uh, saying there's more to what I'm saying, yep. but I'm, but it's not being said. Yeah. Whereas an M dash comes mm -hmm. in the middle of say a piece or at the end where you're, it's a pause. It's a, it's more mm -hmm. than a comma. Yep. A comma is a yep. pause. It's a, it's a contemplation. An M dash, yeah. Yeah, an M yep. dash is, is, is definitely a, a, even more. It's a, yeah. It's, or yeah. interruption of a point to get yeah. I have one I have one lot. character that's that I want to speak like William F. Buckley. What? So there's that <laughs> that low how, how are you gonna get that mid Atlantic mm -hmm. accent and uh I know I just have him fire I'll just get his lines. face to look like he's him and everyone one, will know. He's got a yeah. he's got this his talking yep. has this kind of pace to it. <laughs> yep. Whereas, you know, Jack Lemons almost all of Jack yeah. Lemons characters. It's a machine gun. Yeah. Rob, if you haven't seen Glenn Gary Glenn, I'm sorry. That's one of my oh, favorite movies ever. You gotta watch it. I know it's I know it's highly regarded yeah. and, Jack and I don't see many films anymore. I, I, Do you I like wish steak I had <laughs> second prize <laughs> a set of steak knives. Yeah. It's such now, a, it's, I get I like I, I movies are so long that they yeah. take up they take up too much time yeah. away from yeah. doing yep. this yeah. stuff. I, and yeah, you, so I like you know short more short form stuff like uh, television episodes. Yeah, you know where minutes, people sit yeah. down and people sit down and binge five or six episodes. No, yeah. no, no. no. I, I treat I treat episodes like whiskey, like really yeah. good whiskey. You <laughs> sip it. You know, you that's take a, a good, few sips, a good analogy. and then you 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 you, you, you it's so and then you come back to it again later. Uh, but yeah, I it's so sitting down for a. A long movie like that, where I really have to be engrossed in it, is yeah. uh, is not. It doesn't fit my you. lifestyle presently. But that might. It, you're. Keep, it, and if you like Jack, mention Lennon, it again. Mention it yeah. again. I'll, I'll uh, shoot you. Yeah, I'll yeah. shoot you a message too. Yeah, yeah, and and I will. So I will make. A, and I may have to. Eat, I may have to watch it in chunks. Yeah, 
and it's, is, yeah. it's totally doable. It has right. clear breaks. Well, it's like, like a like good said, book. A good yeah. book you can do in chunks. You know, that's right. why chat. Yeah, that's why they're hard chapters, breaks. You know, and uh, plus there's sometimes there's uh, breaks within the chapters as well. Mm. Yeah, Roland <laughs> writes that. Yeah, six uh, thick southern accent. I say, I say. Uh, <laughs> step, step aside, son. You you bother me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> reading that comment was like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my head. Oh, you can't. You can now imagine a still... foreign audience reading it. <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese but for the manga. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I have a friend who married a Guatemalan, and I will run oh, things by her oh. like. Does this make sense? Any any sense? Okay, I, that's smart. Oh, I love it's, it's a language thing too. I love it, and and it can be hilarious. And I love when people can laugh about it. Like the, the you know, English dot com <laughs> takes takes Asian, Japanese, Chinese, In, Korean, English. 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 Yes. It's so great because <laughs> there are so many. It's translated into English. It's just so like, hilarious. Like all people's bad tattoos don't translate oh, properly. Yep, that doesn't make any sense. But uh, then I love then, ramen. Just translating German into you know English oh, yeah, or something yeah. like that. Uh, just, to, just to turn a phrase that just is so hilarious. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, Vic. Mm -hmm. it, when you if you find a silver line uh, be benefactor, uh, a patron, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I don't think my wife yeah. would like a sugar mama. Maybe my wife can be the sugar mama. If she's, I don't know. Uh, Tell and her then, to make it big. Yeah, I know, and. Yeah, the, actually, Rob. Yeah, this is a good one you can have in the background. But there is a lot of good facial expressions going on for for Glenn Gary. Glenn Gary. No, I, I, I'm going to watch. See, I watch. I I did. I studied movies when I was in in college. I mean, I I, I took a, a movie making class, mm -hmm. and I want to I want to sit and see how it's done. Yeah, I want to. I, I, okay, that camera. Ooh, that's a cool camera angle. Oh, yeah. the the way they've set up that scene. That's great. See, all that's going in my head while I'm yep, watching yep. the movie as well. Yep. I I'm dissecting it and 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 seeing yeah. how they put it together. Uh, I I'm that people hate watching movies with me in my living room. Go, <laughs> oh, did you see? Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 go I back and have one. I have one friend who I can sit and do that with. He's like yep. that as like I am. We can go. Oh, did you see how they set yeah. up that scene? Wasn't that yep. gorgeous? But yeah, but yeah, that's so. I need to watch the whole film. I want to see the whole. I want to see how they mm -hmm. put it together too. Um, and and when I'm in the studio, I used to play classical music in the background, mm, and then good. my radio burned up, and I've gotten yeah. into it, it stopped working. And now mm, I don't this. I don't listen to anything while I'm in the studio at all. Uh, you didn't end up drawing, air is, conducting while you drew, and then. Mm -hmm. Well, was it, it was it was the feeling that it, would, it was the feeling that it would give give to me. Like if I'm listening to to Bach in the background, mm -hmm. I'm going. That man was a genius, and it kind of inspires me to be oh, a yeah. genius putting stuff on yeah. the page. Mm -hmm. I just so, think of Rob as Michael yeah. J. Fox in yeah. The Secret of My Success. Now, just <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it with this. I, same I can't listen. Yeah. The other, you know? yeah. Yeah. I can't listen to music generally with with words while i'm working oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I i sit there like my hands poised on the computer i can only do it if it's music i've heard many, many oh yeah many, many mm, times yeah, yeah that's if why. it's if it's something i'm just get, i'm playing for the mood that it brings yep. i know yeah. it and it's just it's supposed yep. to give me the mood i can do that but if it's some if it's do a playlist new, for newer time music or something i'm not familiar with yeah uh, i listen to I'll it get, and i'll get yeah. caught up in the words that are yeah i'm, I'm with yeah. you there I, I get that. We should own stock in Hesperus. <laughs> oh yeah, Rory and I are play yeah. our, our our colonial uh and, and um it's just eighteenth century seventeen hundreds folk music yeah. and sea shanties playlist is about the same. Um, yeah. and we share that. It's good stuff. Um, yeah, there's a there's a when you're writing Steam Patriots. Yep, yep. Yeah. an oh, ensemble yeah. called right. Hesperus. Yeah. They they have lots of good. Okay. Um, Seventeen hundreds yeah, and eighteen hundreds music, good stuff. Uh, Tommy, hello, <laughs> Mr. Flora Monte, hello, and uh, yeah, no, we're not playing D &D, this. Tommy. This, this is just this is just too much handsome. We're gonna break the internet, guys. We gotta be careful. For the, the four of us in one here? one place. <laughs> yeah, Rory wins. Rory wins every <laughs> night. We can show, yeah, <laughs> Rob's got this. Rob, stop it! No. <laughs> oh, yes, eyes. Vic. Longest Johns, yes, they're good. They have great they're really good. stuff, great stuff. Yep. And uh, Vic says hello to Tommy. You and uh, face hair, yes. Uh, 
and nostril <laughs> hair, probably an ear hair uh, for all of us. And um, we've there's, been talking about Kung Fu. Folks, we're in our last five minutes. Before we wrap up, I do rem- want to remind all of our viewers and uh, lovers of good storytelling out there that I'm going to I'm going to beat this drum for the next few weeks. Silverline yep. Comics on all of our socials, SteamPatriots.us on and Steam Patriots on all of our socials. There is a link to get notified. You click on that link, it will take you to Kickstarter. You're going to give them your email address. You are not committing to anything. You are just saying, please notify Tell me. me. On Tell April me. 11th of the launch of Kickstarter's uh, Silverline's next Kickstarter campaign with two stories, Beyond the Stars by Ron Fortier and his crack team of comic Andre creators. Bonmanis. Yes. Uh, yes. It's, gonna, mm-hmm. it's awesome. And Steam Patriots number two as well, both continuing their epic stories. Those are coming out next month on Kickstarter. We want you to get notified right now. So the moment it launches, you can back those. And if you have missed any. Get in there and get get that, get that those limited time yes. items. Because mm-hmm. uh, Kicks- get in there, jump jump on the original. We're going to have and one. limited. So limited edition stuff on Kickstarter. Um, yep. That's where you get all the extra goodies. That's where that's where you are a true fan and you grab the extras. And right now on the Steam Patriots social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, we are running a cover reveal contest. We have not revealed our covers. We have three beautiful covers coming. What we want to do is we want one of you three, two, two, one, three. three of you. Three, one, two, three. Not uh, one, three. not two, but three. The three, three beautiful covers are oh, coming out. Oh, they're the, the... <laughs> <laughs> that shall count the three. <laughs> we will give you we'll give three of you um an eleven by seventeen print of one of our covers. Um all we ask is that you like, share, and mention slash tag somebody when you share that so that they see it. And this just to spread the word. And on our April 5th show. The plan is to announce the winners and reveal those covers um, a week before the launch. So we 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 need we need your help because we the more eyes the the mm-hmm. more the the more buys. Hey, good. Has anyone hey, said ooh. that before? Any? Did ooh, I just come up with something? Good. Wow. 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 wow! That's, that's, <laughs> that's the problem with wow. talking fast. Copyright Scott Wakefield. Hand that up to BJ. Not, Ernest Hemingway, if you steal that from me, so help me. <laughs> you son of a. <laughs> so that's that's my sales pitch 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 everyone pitch i said pitch. if we uh, uh if you if you all out there also like share subscribe all those good things for silver line our growth means more and better and greater beautiful comics and stories for all of you folks we're down in the last few minutes we've been talking dialogue i love me some dialogue in all of our stories yeah, movies tell. comic books uh the good the bad the clunky um Star Wars has some clunky dialogue. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. T- t- Harrison Ford has a rather never really got into the thing that he says the... about that. Oh, uh, he says you can uh, write that... that, but nobody can say it. <laughs> nobody can say it. <laughs> yeah, George, you There's can some... write that crap, but nobody you can, can write... actually. Nobody actually <laughs> talks like that. Nobody Hello. talks like that. <laughs> uh, I just watched. <laughs> I just watched uh, Star Trek: First Contact. That's the uh, the one of the Borg take over the Enterprise E. Mm-hmm. They travel back in time to save Zephyr from Is that, is and, that uh, where the saucer detaches? No, just, you get up. Log off now. Log go. <laughs> Go away and, and think about what you just said. That that's is generation. That's the Janeway episode. That's when the, that's when... <laughs> so, the war, Worf and Picard and uh, 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 Lieutenant <laughs> Lieutenant Hawk, who is um, that Dum Dum Dugan actor, McDonough Mc McDougal. Yeah. Um, yeah. McDougal. Thank you. They they detach the uh, deflector dish and it floats away. And Worf fires. He says, "Assimilate." This and he fires the face. <laughs> <That's> so dumb. <laughs> Assimilate, this. Assimilate this. Oh, I love Warp. Oh, the great Warp is great. Klingons. They're yeah. Well, they're I guess yeah. Really lost in the translation, the right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Much, much they more, lack poetry. Klingon, much more poetic yeah. in the Klingon, uh, yeah. which uh, which Star Trek Six, which they talk about Shakespeare in the original Klingon. Ah, uh, yes, uh, that's a good yes. one too. Um, Rory, you need to re-watch your Star Trek movies at least. All My in order. goodness. All in order. Do it before next week so you stop embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for you, really. <laughs> this this is unacceptable. You should be. You should be uh, embarrassed for me. 
<laughs> we we have uh so so folks out there stay tuned to our silverline um newsletter and so forth on our website i know rory has penned some beautiful i can never point the right rory's penned some beautiful words for you um i've got a little little missive coming out uh and uh um we 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 would love for you to read our comic books and uh, check out uh, some good dialogue, some great art. And um, if you have questions, if you got questions, um, you can post them wherever you're watching this in the comments. We try our best to get back to you. Uh, we love we love the craft and the art of creating comics. That's why we're here talking dialogue, mm -hmm. um, uh, creating great stories, and um, that's why we we do this to improve ourselves as well. We love this time together. An hour flies by, and it does. Uh, I was just thinking that. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh wait, um, yeah. Vic says order Twilight Graham Team Bill. Yeah, grab those back issues. If yeah. you can't wait, go to SilverlineComics.com or Indie Planet and um, order every comic. And um, and then April 11th, mark your calendar. Our next two issues are yeah. coming out. The, the stories are twice. With sorts new with 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 extra goodies, uh, folks. This has been a great hour of dialoguing with all of you. And uh, <laughs> any any last thoughts before we go? Before we we say our mm. our line, uh, uh, crickets, crickets. So you're supposed to have something something Would good you... while I scroll to find the the end and our oh, end stream left. end silver line. Oh wait, wait, all right, folks. It's nine oh one. We're gonna wrap up as always. Make mine awesome. Silver line. Good night, everybody. I'm April Hunter. Make mine silver line. All right. <laughs>